Good morning, good morning. So, it is 9 a.m. in Cuenca. We're just about to do a city tour, which is gonna last about three, four hours. The beautiful city of Cuenca. Um, this city's a lot more active. They've got a lot of basketball courts. I don't know if you can see from here. They've got the basketball courts. They've got the soccer pitches as well. Um, it's known as a very active city. Also a very friendly city as well. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna do a tour, look around, get around, see a quick, I really like it. First impressions, very good impression of Cuenca so far. Um, and the sun's out. Here for three nights, the sun is out on day one. And we're looking to have a good time in Cuenca. So let's see what the city has to offer. Uh, look at the Cuenca, Cuenca steps. Cuenca, Cuenca steps. Pretty cool. Cuenca are also known for their red bricks and they call it the Red City. The Cuenca people are also known for their strong um, accents, their distinctive accents. And apparently, obviously I don't know yet, yeah. once you're here for a while and you travel around Ecuador, you would be able to recognize the Cuenca accent like that. <laughs> so here we have the old cathedral in white you can't see it that clearly but just behind the tree and then they built a new cathedral over here because of an earthquake um, there was cracks in the in the structure of the building so they had to build a new cathedral so they built it over here um, this one is unique because the domes couldn't be placed at the front of the church as planned because they were too heavy so they're placed at the back so it's a very unique cathedral and then next this used to be next to it this white building here used to be the archbishop's palace um but he donated it to the city and it's now a food court so nice this is the central square super pretty we hey, love cuenca so far so good cuenca. love it here it's a win it's a win win the food court in the Archbishop's old palace. It's really cute. Mm. Okay, just walking around the Archbishop's old palace, which is so beautiful. Just come upstairs to look at the view from upstairs. So nice, so so nice. All of the nice restaurants, and then at night, that will light up there. So it's, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Pretty, pretty nice. Oh wow! I'm going to get my blessings. <laughs> yeah, blessings for our right Yeah, but you got the, the blessings. Mm -mm. They must continue. <laughs> the blessings must continue. All oh, praise to the most high. Oh, All the flowers. So beautiful. <laughs> about to try the aqua pit mark. And it's to cleanse your body and soul. Apparently you don't smell it. It's not too bad. Made of roses. Wait till you taste Yeah, it's just rose water, right? Is it rose water? Yeah. You have yeah. to drink half of it. Oh. Yeah. It's not bad. How does it taste? Yeah. Describe it. It tastes like a biscuit. Yeah, kind of like a biscuit. Yeah. And the lightest, lightest, lightest of mouthwash. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it tastes like soapy water to me. Mmm. <laughs> um, it's okay. You need the liter of cleansing. <laughs> It's, quite strong. it's not strong. 
We can get a liter. Come on, down there. No. Trying to describe the smell. It's like very You don't want any more. You need more cleansing. You know, caramelized yeah. ones are very good and business it's everywhere. Funny. Do you know these like full color like ice creams that you see them on the way all the time? Yeah. It's a business they created as well. Really? With the leftovers of the juices that they used to prepare in the company. Oh. And they make like different layers and they start selling them. They're massive in Wow. We're going that way. Why not? We're going that way. Let me get the last of the cleansing. I'm going to steal all the cleansing. Where's the bar? I took a sip. I found mm. <sighs> I feel cleansed. I feel cleansed. So we got the fresh pineapple. Anyway, we got some. It was 50 cents for this big bag. It smells, I wish you could smell it. It smells so good, it so fresh. <laughs> Juicy. That might be the juiciest pineapple I've ever it smells had. Smells really fresh. You can smell it from like meters away. It smells so good. Mm, Cheers. Cheers. Okay, we've entered the indoor food market. It smells so good in here. It smells quite meaty, even though I don't eat meat. It smells really good. It's a guinea pig, probably. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be guinea pig for sure. Exclusive hat. It's not recommended to yeah. ink it with different color, but exclusive. Here is the name of the lady to wear in the hat. Mm -hmm. and so this how much is that one you said? Six thousand and five hundred. Okay. We are starving. It's suddenly got to two o'clock. We spent a lot of time in the Panama hat, but actually it's cool. Now we're going into here, which is a food court. There's something to eat. So we are entering into the new cathedral. We're going to climb to the top. It's $1 to get in and $4 to get to the top. Didn't expect to come straight into a sadness. Okay, it's maths right now. So we're gonna go do the town instead, which is just around the corner. This is $4, I believe. So literally just around the corner from where we were. And up this alleyway. And then through this little door here. Is this it? So I did my college in my way. I need to I need to upgrade the stuff. I think this is gonna be a lot of stairs. Really? <laughs> okay, it's two dollars. Off we go. So this is the view, this is where we had lunch and that. Old cathedral is. Yeah. Going up. Um, 
down to go up. Made it. More steps. Last ones. Wow. Quinka. $8 on the tour bus, well spent. Look at this view. Okay, so we found this little bridge. You have to pay $3 to get out there, but I got a hot chocolate too because it's quite chilly up here. You have to wear these protective shoes over my Crocs. You guys know I love my Crocs. Maybe because it's slippy. Um, so it's got a glass floor. I guess that's what these are for. Cool, and then the whole platform's glass. So yeah, three dollars for this. Pretty good. Ecuadorian McDonald's. First time in here. They've got the Mac rib, which looks super barbecue. Let's see what they've got. Mac rib, crispy chicken. We have that in the UK. Yeah, every salads. The salads look better than our salads. Mm -hmm. McRib, we don't have that. I had to get plantain and rice in here too. So yeah, this is what the Ecuador McDonald's is. And then we just saw Zumba outside doing a go do Zumba. We have actually also eaten. But yeah, what are you gonna get? I don't know. I might try a McFlurry, but I don't think I've got any space in this stomach. Lean machine. Dance with all the aunties in Zumba. <laughs> He's put his crux in his paws. <laughs> Today is Wednesday. We've only got two days until we leave. Can't believe the how long we've been here. I mean, we've been here about 14 days of out of our 16, 17 day trip. Um, and we're almost going home. Today, we've got a free day in the city of Cuenca. So right now, we're just gonna go and explore some of the museums. Again, go around the town, go around the market, try the local food again. Um, and then later at five o'clock we'll go into a spa um, which has got the hot springs jacuzzi you name it it's, it looks like a really good spa so we're looking forward to that just to like end the journey um, on a high and then tomorrow we've got to fly back to Quito we've got a 7.15 flight Whew, super early which means we've got to be at the airport I think at 6 a.m. Um, we've got to be awake about 5.15 so it's going to be an early one um, so yeah one more day in Cuenca fly to Quito and then we've got a day in Quito before we fly back home so we're just going to take it in at least today the sun is out it was warm yesterday and it feels a lot warmer today so yeah we should have a nice day in Cuenca so we'll see you in
So we have just got to the Aboriginal Cultural Museum um, in Cuenca. It's a family museum. Um, so it's private but open to the public. And they have artifacts on show from 15,000 BC, which is crazy. So yeah, we're gonna go in and take a look. Cost us $4 to get in each. Um, we're going up to the second floor and the lady from reception is going to come with us to explain some things. So yeah, I'm looking forward to learning. They've got artifacts here from pre-Inca and pre-Spanish. So yeah, should be interesting. I'm just going to play a little song for y'all and it goes a little something like this. This is a musical instrument from 15,000 BC, before Christ. Buenos dias. What a tune. <laughs> Here we have the fragments de la première ceramic. This was serious in those days where you can see the art and the detail. You can see almost shaped like a fish. <laughs> but it's not a fish. <laughs> Don't laugh at art and history. This is serious, serious business. Cheers. <laughs> find the Ecuador um, football top so he likes to get them everywhere we go so we're just walking down the street we think we saw a shop here the other day possibly oh, this one yeah. one of these okay here we go Leroy's gonna buy one of the shirts On your record. This is the original. This one's the original. Original? Yeah, yeah. For the first time, the other one is the other one. Replica. 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 The official Ecuador kit. Every country we go to, I try and get the official kit. Okay, we had lunch at a really nice little restaurant in the square. Um, and now we are going up here because uh -huh, they have a rooftop. Apparently, it's a really nice rooftop. Um, and you can't get in for bookings for lunch because they get really booked up. But you can go up for cocktails. So. We're going to go up there for a drink before we head back to the hotel already for spa equipment at five. So let's go up. It's a weird entrance, you have to walk all the way through the shop. See if I find everything I like. Oh, that's it. Here's the lift. It's in this shop. We were warned about the weird entrance. Rogue, to say the least. Let's hope we can find a nice table with a view. Hola. Can I start us? that we wanted. Gracias. Gracias. So 
we're going into the caves. Five treatments. Red mud, blue mud, a scrub, <laughs> something else, hot pools, cold pools, and a steam. Yeah, for sure. Watch your head. I don't know if any of us will need one. Yeah, sure. Watch your head, guys. Where do we get on the plane? Taller people. Watch your head, Please give me your ropes in order to put over there on the wall. And when you go to the next stations, I'm going to take your ropes and put near to you. Okay, okay great. Tell us what you're having to do. I don't know. Steamy. Steamy. It's getting loud. It's getting loud. It's turning it up. You can't see my hand right now, but I'm turning the steam up. Can you hear it? Oh, it's getting hot. Yeah. It's getting hot in there. And now we go to this pool. How are you feeling? Ten years younger. <laughs> so oh. soft. Yeah. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Right now we are in Cuenca Airport. It is 6:50 in the morning. We've just gone through passport control, and we're about to take a 45-minute flight to Quito. Um, and then this will be our official last day night in ecuador we're going to spend one full day in quito before we fly out on the friday afternoon so yeah we've got a 45 minute flight from cuenca to quito we're going to spend the day in quito have no plans of what we're going to do in quito and then that's all she wrote it's been an epic trip we just pray for a safe flight um and then enjoy our day in quito <laughs> back in a very sunny Quito. It's lovely. It's like 20 degrees here and really warm. Um, the flight was really easy. We only took half an hour and then we were back at our hotel nice and early. So we have come out and we are visiting the botanical gardens. As you guys know, we've been back and forth to Quito quite a bit. So we have done quite a bit here, but we got told the botanical gardens are beautiful. So we just got an Uber here, cost us £1.50, which was like two, $2, which is nothing. So yeah, now we're here. Looks really nice. About to walk in. Apparently it's four dollars a ticket. So yeah, we'll show you around. Shrubby. The shrubby paramo. <laughs> These can live for up to two hundred years. <laughs> Are you laughing like I'm not alone? Guys, he, he doesn't know that. Don't take that as fact. I'm telling you, two hundred years. Follow me. Kind of like a Ramsden walk. <laughs> Here we are, just 
to see in the different cactus or cacti. What's the point of a cactus? Cactus can be food. <laughs> <laughs> How cool are these bonsai? Look, it says the age. This little one is 12 years old. Ages. Wow. 38 years old. Wow. I like those. Leroy's now a big bonsai fan. Massive bonsai fan. Who's your favourite bonsai artist? Alex Torres. I don't know if it's a man or a woman yet, but whoever you are out there, <laughs> excellent bonsai work. <laughs> Telling you, insane. Can we try and find? Oh, there's an well, Alex Torres one, piece right that here. That one got a first price in. <laughs> In the Kunifar, what is that? This one, no. eight years old. Look at this beautiful piece of bonsai work here. <laughs> Kunifar, Alex Torres. Round of applause for Alex. Like a... He's versatile. He can do water ones. He can do water ones as well. Pretty amazing. Don't touch it. Alex, not touching the plant. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> if you arrest you, someone like, oh. else. Wow, really cool look at that underwear. one. And guess who did it? You guessed it. <laughs> You guessed it, Alex Torres. <laughs> <laughs> if in doubt. Uh, we are having our last meal with the group. It's quite sad. We are just walking to the restaurant now. This way, wrong way. Um, and it looks like it's going to be beautiful. We're on quite high up, and it's probably inside outside. So hopefully, we get some nice views. Wow, music room. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 look at the dog. Wow, look at this. Yeah, <laughs> Wow. I'm trying to ask her where we're going because he's like, it doesn't have a view. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. to the basilica look how pretty we're gonna go in here we're gonna climb the tower we literally have about half an hour until we need to go back to our hotel to go to the airport so it's gonna be a very quick tour but we've been able to see this from all the viewpoints so i'm looking forward to going up there and having a look around and yeah we need to find out how much it is okay, we're in it was two dollars per person still from their Christmas as you guys have seen they've put all their Christmas decorations up still and this yeah it's an activity scene just flown from Quito. Now we've got a three and a half hour wait until our flight to London. 17 days in Ecuador. The best time. The best time ever, 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 ever. Oh, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to begin. Um, we've seen so much, we've met some great people, done some great experiences, paragliding, which we never thought we'd do. What else? Zip lining upside down. Zip lining, the hummingbirds, the Amazon, yeah. yeah. Crazy start and then a crazy good trip. Yeah. 
Um, it's going to be hard to top this one, but we've had the best time. Just waiting for our flight now. 11 degrees or 10 degrees back in London. Oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah, it's been a great trip. The best food, the best people, the best views. Yeah, don't skip on Ecuador, guys. Yeah. So yeah, our recommendation is definitely um, visit Ecuador. So much to do in Ecuador and you will not regret it. But for now, we're out.